3500 calorie rule is an absolute bull myth. Now you've probably heard this online. There's a lot of uh, PTs and coaches that uh, cite this at the minute on their uh, videos. And the 3500 calorie rule states that if you consume 3500 calories over your maintenance or under your maintenance, you will lose either one pound or gain one pound. So essentially the thinking is, or essentially what they push forward, especially to their clients, or try to, to get clients, because it's an easy way to kind of manipulate those who have had issues with their weights, maybe particularly middle-aged women, for long periods of their life. And if you were to tell someone something simple as, you know, don't worry, you know, you'd have to eat over 3,500 calories to gain a pound anyway. So, you know, having those crisps every night is actually okay and have a better, you know, relationship with food and stuff like that. The problem is, is that it's just utter nonsense. Now, we should know it's utter nonsense just by the simple fact that if you take the perspective of, okay, so if I consume over 3,500 calories over my maintenance levels, that I would only gain a pound of fat, but why am I 50, 60, even 70 pounds over the weight that I should be? Is it because every week I've consistently increased my calories by 3,500? Or is it multiple other complex variables and factors? It's absolutely more complex and variable factors. As per the American Institution for Cancer Research writes, back in 2013, researchers decided to test the 3500 calorie rule. They looked at data from seven weight loss studies where participants were closely monitored, often spending as long as three months in a research facility, 24 hours a day. So we can safely say here, pretty good uh, measurements to go by in the study already. In addition, they find that weight loss slowed as the weeks progressed. This fits with what many people experience when they try to lose weight. Losing the first couple of pounds may be easy, but sooner or later, weight plateaus. And we all experience this, right? Everyone always, when the goal is on the diet, the weight gets very easy from the start, and then it gets very difficult as you go on. What happens as you lose weight, even a pound or two, is that your body needs slightly fewer calories. If you continue to eat the same amount that helps you lose those first few pounds, your weight loss will naturally slow because your calorie deficit will get smaller as your weight goes down. This can be discouraging, but by setting realistic expectations, being patient and combining physical activity with eating less, you can be successful. In turn, basically, as your calories start to get lower, your energy does need less energy. But what happens is it starts to shut down more rudimentary movements as well. So right now I'm jiggling my leg. As my calories get lower, that's gonna stop right? That's less calories burnt for it every day. You're going to maybe walk less or do a bit more physical exercise, or you're going to have less energy to do that and thus reducing your expenditure. But as written here, which I'm going to explain forever, which is my main point of this video, the other problem with the 3,500 calorie rule is that it assumes that everyone responds to the same calorie cut with equal weight loss. Men burn usually more optimal calories than what a woman can. That's because of Various different factors such as increased muscle mass. The more muscle you have, the more you know energy it requires to move that around the body, thus the more energy is consumed. Kids, for example, burn at a different rate than women do, that kind of thing. So everyone burns at a different rate. And then muddied into the factor of different metabolic rates. Everyone has, some people have fast metabolisms, slow metabolisms. There's some people that can get away with eating a little bit over every day. Some people that can't. Well, if they eat a little bit over, they just seem to put loads of weight on. So many variable factors. But the 3,500 rule factor, what you mainly need to know and take away from this video is that it is bull. And I don't want to swear because uh, YouTube will put me down in the algorithms. Anyway, if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Tons of others and over in the channel. But until the next time, I'll see you later, orcs.